So la- last year, I tried to live my life under the experiment or assumption that there is absolutely no free will, right? Uh, strange thing to do for a couple of months, but this is this is where my curiosity uh, lies sometimes. And I was really intrigued to see just like, and you know what, there, this wasn't a, a perfect experiment and it wasn't like I was always in this, holding this belief or this assumption, but there's so, like, I'm, I'm really intrigued by the idea of me falling back into my natural self. Like I have this idea of life, either whether it's through our belief systems, our, you know, top five tips to be more, you know, effective or whatever it is. And we add all these things on. And what we really need to do is like almost like a collective exhale and just a releasing of a grip rather than clenching onto life or trying to control things. But there's something still where I'm, I, you know, even within this and, you know, if I explore where did that thought come from, that's a question I love to ask my mind sometimes in meditation if it's busy and my mind's like, oh, okay, <laughs> quieten down for a moment and we'll hit him with something else in a few minutes and we'll distract him again. Um, or even my emotions, like I don't wake up, even if I'm doing lots of healthy processes, I can wake up feeling a bit shit sometimes. Um, or, you know, I can wake up feeling amazing, even if I haven't done all my perfect processes. So I don't feel, I don't, it doesn't feel to me like I'm in control of my emotions as such, although my, my thoughts and my actions previous to that may, may affect them. There's something really, it's, it's almost then like that we, there's almost like this deep trust that we can fall into, though, if we relinquish things. It's like this really counterintuitive sense of it. If I completely try to let go of the idea that I'm actually in control, there's this, you almost fall into the space that you were kind of guiding me into around where do you actually hear this? So, the, But it seems it seems so bloody scary because the thing we want to do, and even still now, I still want to win. Do you, do you know what I mean? I still want to write a great book. I want this to be a successful podcast. Do you, do you get me? So it, it's, it's an, but then as you say, it's like almost holding that and being okay with that's what you're observing. But there's a deeper, there's a deeper reality at play. Thanks for watching the latest clip from the What Is A Good Life podcast. My name is Mark McCartney. I'm the host of this podcast and I'm also a coach based in Berlin. Over the last two years, I've interviewed over 150 people around this question and I've distilled these findings, anecdotes and experiences into both corporate workshops and one-on-one coaching programs. If you're a corporate looking to book a workshop for your next event or you're a working professional in need of finding answers to some of the bigger questions in life, please direct message me below for a free 30-minute consultation.